Hey, this is Peter Diamandis with your Abundance Espresso Shot. In Abundance, I talk about the concept of incentive competitions and how rather than thinking out of the box, you need to go looking for a really small box. What do I mean by that? See, how do you drive breakthroughs? The first thing you have to realize is that a, the day before something is truly a breakthrough, it's a crazy idea. And you know, if it wasn't a crazy idea the day before, it wouldn't be a breakthrough. You know, a little bit of a faster computer is an incremental improvement. You know, something that's a hundred times or a thousand times faster, that's a breakthrough. So literally, when you give a group of people a challenge, and if you give them all the time, the money, and the resources that they can have for that challenge, people are lazy and they're risk adverse. They'll take all the time, they'll take all the money, and they won't take the risks. Instead, what we do at the XPRIZE, for example, is we give them great constraints. We say, listen, it's only a million dollar prize or a $10 million prize to go to the moon. Um, and you've got a year or three years. You don't have 10 years. You know, literally, we give them constrictions on time, money, the number of people, you know, the resources they have. So what happens? When you constrain people in this fashion, you know, we make them literally think inside a very small box, Either they say it's impossible, they throw their hands up and they never do it, or they say, okay, I'm going to give it a shot, but I cannot possibly do it the same old way it's always been done. They literally throw out all the pre-existing notions on how they would do this, and they try crazy ideas, radical ideas, ideas that most people would never believe can happen. Now, two things happen again. Of that group, that try crazy radical ideas. The majority, perhaps 90%, perhaps 99% fail, but the 1% that pulls it off, they have driven a breakthrough. So again, in the Ansari X Prize, you know, we had 27 teams uh, from seven countries around the world. One of those teams, Bert Rutan, backed by Paul Allen, pulled it off with something called Spaceship One that burned nitrous oxide laughing gas and polybutadiene tire rubber as its fuel. So if you're looking to cause a breakthrough, really important, constrictions. Constrictions drive literally breakthrough opportunities. Instead of thinking out of the box next time, go shopping for a really small box. I hope you enjoy these videos, espresso shots on the theme of abundance. You can sign up for more at diamandis.com.